Here we are in game animation sample, but this time for 5.6, we've got the true first person camera setup working. The 5.5 tutorial still works for 5.5, but for 5.6, it was causing people some confusion. So we've just redone it for 5.6. We've got the ability to stop clipping into walls, but also to climb up and to drop down when we're over the ledge, because that was an issue in 5.5. The crouching still works. And this time I will also show you how to set up camera shakes as well. So it's a bit more lifelike for when you're running. As usual, there will be an FAQ in the description for any questions that people have that weren't answered here. But if you do have any questions that aren't in the FAQ, then feel free to drop them below or drop them in the Discord. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and a great weekend. Cheers. Gameplay camera system, we're starting a blank project just to show you what's going on. We've got the same sense of styles and everything like that. So what we're going to do first is go to blueprints, cameras, and we want to grab this balance free cam. That's fine. And we're going to press control D and we're going to turn this into the TPFS, the true first person. I've obviously butchered the anagram here. So we're going to open up the TPFS or the true first person camera, the TFPC. We're going to set this camera rig. I'm going to reset all of these and untick the dampening factors as well. And then offset, I'm going to make zero. I'm going to click build, I'm going to click save. And then we're going to open up our content, blueprints, sandbox character. And we're going to go to gameplay camera and I'm just going to notch this to the head. So select parent socket, go to head, and then we're going to reset these values to zero and zero. And then in the viewport, you can still see that it is not going anywhere, but that is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the gameplay camera asset here, save all of these, open this file here and go to this director. And then we're just going to grab this active camera rig and duplicate it. And we'll just move all of this to the side, connect it up here. And the camera rig that we're selecting is the TP FS1. True person first shooter. I don't, I don't know what I was naming it. And then if we go back to sandbox, you can see once it's all compiled and saved, And then yeah, select head again, if it doesn't show you his head. And then we should be able to just go straight in. And here we are. Now there's a, still a few problems here. So this one with the clipping and stuff. Now I had a solution before, which we're still going to use, but also there's the safety area too. So both of these need to be fixed. So we're going to go back out. Go back to our camera sandbox character. And then we're going to find the camera here, the setup camera. And I'm going to disconnect both of these nodes at the top. Back in default level. So now we shouldn't uh, be able to like see ourselves. This is fine. We're going to sort this bit in a sec. But yeah, I'm not able to jump out and see my full character. Uh, as for this, the clipping and stuff, let's resolve that. This one's super simple. I had a solution before where we just expanded on the capsule. So we're going to use a similar solution, but it's going to be more bespoke because if we make this capsule 50 now, it will work. So go back to compile default level play from here. So you can see I'm not clipping for anything, but it means that our doors and like if we stood on the edge here, so I can now like stand here and in theory, I should be dropping down because I'm not standing on anything. So let's fix that in a much better way. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a capsule here, capsule collision just underneath the capsule component. And if we select this capsule and scroll down, it's going to overlap all dynamic, but I need to change it to custom. 
and it needs to ignore pawns, so it needs to ignore ourselves. And we need to include the traversal channel as well. Compile and save that. Right click capsule, add an event. On component begin overlap. We're going to get this capsule component and we're going to set the radius to 50. And then right click capsule, get an event, add end overlap. We're going to copy this capsule component stuff and set this back to what it is currently. So what it is now is 50, but we're going to change it back to 34. Compile and save that. And now if I go to viewport, I can get this capsule here. Just move it out just in front of the head. You can adjust this and make it smaller as you wish. But now if we look, we can see I can't now interact with stuff, but I can still fall off the edge. So that's good. Next, let's sort out Crouch in, make sure that all works. So I'm just going to duplicate this and move it down here to be the perfect size. Play from here, press C to crouch, and it's crouching perfectly fine. So that all works as usual. Okay, the next bit is this turning into our character so that we can see his soul. We're going to come out of here. We're going to go into Sandbox character, go to Mesh, go to the AVP just here. And we're going to find the turn in place. So should turn in place this one here. And I'm just going to disconnect this once the aim and the movement state. Connect all this up and set this value to five. And now I cannot get into my own head because I'm turning in place as we're moving. And sprinting, that still works perfectly fine. Jumping works. The standard uh, rotation of this character when he jumps over still doesn't work. There we go. And I still cannot figure out what's going on. One addition here is we can add a camera shake. So if we go back to cameras, right click, come to gameplay, and we can select camera shake here. And I can add in the toolbox and you want a rotation shake for the pull the purloin noise rotation shake. And if I make these values five each and make the frequency five as well. And then if I go back to the TPFS camera, I can add a sequence here. Add our camera rig to the top one and we can add this camera shake prefab just here and we can select our new camera shake. And now when I play and see, I've got this crazy shake. Now, obviously I'm just doing this to show you what it's like and how to add a camera shake, like a head bob as you move. So you should play with those values on that camera shake as much as you want and change that. But this is new to 5.6. And that's it. That's all the questions I had. And I think I've fixed everything. If I've missed anything, then please let me know. And I will answer it in the FAQ below. And yeah, if you want to be able to switch between third person and third person, just reconnect the sequence and place this in the spot that you want. So you probably want to replace the close cam. This close one here to be your first person one instead. And that'll work. But this is a how to make a true first person camera rather than a how to switch camera tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.